So, I have not weighed myself. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is December, which you can't really tell, but I kind of decorated my room um, because I love Christmas. But I am back to talk to you guys about um, how I've been, you know, since starting this whole like weight loss journey. I have kind of discovered that I kind of want to change a few things up a little bit. So I have not weighed myself in probably like two or three weeks. So I don't actually know how much weight I've lost. I know I've lost weight. Like I can tell by my face, I can tell that some of my clothes are fitting me better. And I've had people tell me that I've lost weight. So like that's reassuring because I've been doing a lot. Since the last time that I posted, um, first thing that's changed is I'm back in my old room. So I'm back in California. I'm not studying abroad anymore. My semester ended and I came home. And because my semester ended earlier and then like most schools in the United States I've been having like this free time and I have just pretty much been filling it by like working out um I should probably work out a little more than I do I work out half an hour a day but right now I am doing a program um from this app on my phone it's Nike running app or Nike running something. I don't know. I really like the app. It's really nice and convenient and you can pick how long you want to do it for. So I started with the four week program and I'm not a huge runner. That's why I only did four weeks. And I am currently almost done with week two. Um, I really like it. It really fits to anyone's needs. And I think it's really helping me lose the weight. Like rather than just... Um, what I was doing before when I was abroad was I was eating cleaner, but I wasn't working out as much because I would get home and I'd be so tired and like I was helping family out. Um, I have a little cousin that he's 11 months old and I was helping like take care of him every now and then and like babysit him. So when I wasn't at school and my school took a lot of time so that's why I wasn't working out as much but then now that I am home and I have not a lot of things to do I am focusing that time on working out um my day mostly consists of I have breakfast when I wake up which if you know me, you know I hate eating breakfast. Like, I cannot stand eating breakfast. I don't know why. I have never been a breakfast person. I think it's because, well, since, like, high school I haven't been a breakfast person. I think it's because I used, when I played water polo, I had morning practice. And I was always scared of getting sick if I ate too much before practice. So I just kind of got used to eating breakfast at, like, 1030 in the morning or, like, 11 instead of, like, seven when I wake up um so what else yeah so I usually have breakfast I try to make it pro what is okay I try to make it um kind of protein based so I usually have two egg whites and then a fruit uh currently I am obsessed with grapes so that's what I've been eating a lot of um my hair is just so weird right now there we go. Okay. And then I'll have a granola bar for a morning snack. And then for lunch, I used to eat a lot of salads in the past few months. So I'm kind of bored of them right now. So I'm trying like new stuff. And also like I've been trying to cut dairy off and um, gluten and the dairy's going pretty well. Like, I found dairy-free yogurts and, like, um, lactose-free, or, yeah, lactose-free <laughs> milk. So, that has a lot of options. But with gluten, it's really hard for me because I absolutely love bread and pastas and, like, 
I, rice and all of that stuff and I love carbs so for me right now like the only carbs I'm mostly eating is uh, sweet potatoes that was a blank is sweet potatoes so it's <laughs> kind of a struggle because I really really like carbs and I really like bread and so I've been kind of doing this thing where I go to the supermarket we have Knob Hill down the street so they have a good gluten-free section and they have like gluten-free brownies and gluten-free cookies and gluten-free um, bagel chips I love their gluten-free bagel chips so luckily I'm able to find all of that my camera is gonna die in a little bit but you know it's it's difficult um, and then for dinner, I'll have a snack in between, like, lunch and dinner, and that'll usually be some fruit with some bagel chips and avocados. And then for dinner, I will have, um, usually, like, a vegetable, a sweet potato, and a protein. And, or, like, not a whole sweet potato, because that's a lot of food. But that is pretty much what I've been doing, and then in between the day... I've been going to the gym and doing my half an hour and I'm super excited because I'm actually seeing results and I also drink a lot of tea which I think helps um, and a lot of nutritionists have said that helps my nutritionist has told me that it helps so let's see I actually see some progress and I'm really happy um, I need to see how much weight I've lost, but I'm kind of scared of getting on the scale. So maybe next month. So maybe next month I will be able to tell you guys how much weight I've lost. But as of right now, like, I'm doing really good. And I feel like if I stepped on the scale and I saw a number that I wasn't happy with, it would kind of set me back a little. So that is why I have yet to weigh myself and see how much fat I've lost. Um, what else? But other than that, like, I feel like I'm so much happier now that I'm in California and I have so much to look forward to. And my friends are all coming home for winter break and I'm going to visit some other friends from, like, um, from college since I've been away and I haven't seen them in, like, four months. Oh, I'm talking really fast because my camera's gonna die. But, yeah, it's been really nice and I'm really excited for the progress that I have been making and small changes really help um I've been doing the no soda challenge which so far has been really easy except for one day that I went to a birthday party and I totally forgot about it and now I was about to like take a sip of soda I was like wait I can't so <laughs> that was that was okay, like, it's not bad. Um, but that is all the update that I have for right now. I will probably start vlogging again soon. Um, I have family coming into town next week, which I'm really excited about because they've never been to California. So actually two of them have never even been on a plane. So like, to me, that's really exciting. I get to show them my home state, I guess. Um, so I'll probably be vlogging that because we will be traveling a little bit and I'm excited to see what next month brings I guess because this month has been good and so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below especially if you have ever struggled with your weight or have ever suffered from an eating disorder like I have and you are trying to to get your life back from that eating disorder and it'd be really nice to get to know more people that are going through or went through what I'm going through or went through so also if you have not yet done so click that red button below and subscribe to my channel and also there's a little bell on the side that you can click so that you know whenever I upload. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.